This video shows how you can install Solaris VirtualBox or uh, Guest OS in Mac. So for that, what you have to do is there are basically f uh, this four steps over there, as you can see. This is the step three, and this is the step four. So in the step one, what you have to do is you have to first of all download and install VirtualBox, and in the next step you have to download and install. Oracle uh, VM VirtualBox extension pack 6.0.8. So first two steps, uh, if you want to download that uh, software, so you can uh, do that uh, by going to this virtualbox.org. On that website, we will find so main software is this one VirtualBox. So you have to download that for your system if you are using Windows. You have to download Windows if you are using uh, Mac, then you have to download OS X hosts file. Then uh, download that and install it. After that uh, installation of the virtual box, this is how it is gonna look like. So first step is complete after installation of the virtual box. Next step is you have to download and install the extension. So again, you have to go to the same website virtualbox.org and then uh, download this particular file. So I'll show you. Here you can see that uh, VirtualBox 6.0.8 Virtual uh, Box extension pack is there. So you have to just click here and then download that file. Once that file is downloaded, you have to install it. So to install that, uh, open the VirtualBox and then uh, you have to Go to the preferences and uh, again uh, then you have to click on extensions and over here you can see that I have installed it. So what you have to do is you have to click on this plus button and then uh, give the path of where you have downloaded that extension file. So once that is done, next step is uh, third step from here. So we did the first and second step. First of all we, uh, we downloaded and installed VirtualBox. Next step uh, we install the extensions in that VirtualBox. Third step is you have to actually download the actual uh, Solaris system or the ISO file you can also call it, uh, they call it .ovk file. So download that file, a Solaris file, you have to go to this Oracle's website. I will give all these links uh, in the description of this video. So you have to go to that website, register yourself and then download this .ova file. So once all these three steps are done, next uh, step, uh, step four is actually installing or creating the Solaris system, guest system. So for that, in the uh, step four, what you have to do is, you have to go to the file and then click on import appliance. And over here, you have to give the path of that OVA file, Solaris OVA file. So here you can see that that file is there. So that is .ove. Just open that, and then you have to click on continue. The next uh, screen it will show you the product product URL, vendor, vendor URL. All these details will be displayed. What is the RAM? Guest OS type. All this information is here. Then you will click on import. And then a new uh, virtual machine will be created inside virtual box. Here you can see that I have already installed the Solaris, uh, but I am uh, doing it again just uh, for the demo purpose. So the new virtual box uh, similar to this one will be created and then you can start that Solaris system. So once this process is completed, all you have to do is just uh, click on that 
system uh, virtual machine and then there is a start button at the top uh, you have to click on that and then uh, normal installation instructions will be displayed you have to just uh, follow through the, all the uh, simple instructions and then solaris will be installed and that's it then you can launch the solaris and then start working on that if you have more questions on this let me know through the comments thanks for watching this video